celebrations at the end of the 2016 Austria Asian Championships for New South Wales in ladies football and for Victoria in hurling. The four-day competition is traditionally known as the State Games because players from different clubs come together to represent their state, which means that the host state Queensland is basically drawn from Brisbane, the capital of the state. South Australia are drawn from Adelaide. Western Australia sent teams all the way from Perth on the west coast. Melbourne was well represented in all codes under the name of Victoria. And the Blues are New South Wales with players mainly from Sydney who took on Queensland in the most dramatic of ladies football finals. Two points down and with just seconds left, a Monaghan midfielder from the 2013 All-Ireland final became the hero of the moment. Oh, I can't believe it. I, uh, the referee said there was less than a minute left in the game and I knew I actually had the score wrong. I thought we were down by three and I just thought we needed the goal to level it. And I just seen the gap and I just I went for it. I could kick it 100 times and probably miss 99, but it went in when it counted. And you're telling me you've been playing with a broken finger? Yeah, I had a fracture dislocation. I dislocated it during the week in the South Australia game and I went back in, but it was x-rayed yesterday in the hospital and it's broken, so I just had to strap it and get on with it. What was that moment like on the final whistle right after it? Oh my God, my heart, I swear to God, it was everyone on the sideline. It was, I think it'll go down as one of the, the one of the best moments, you know, all our hard work, everything paid off. But as I say, Queensland were absolutely tremendous today. They brought the best out in us and I think we both did. It was a great old battle there today. And some advert for ladies Gaelic football in this part of the world. Absolutely. I think the winner today was ladies football. There was no losers. It was ladies football. Absolutely brilliant. You know, all this way over in Australia to have that standard out there today. Absolutely brilliant. Some of the girls, there's, that's what's so unusual about here. There's girls there with massive county experience. There's girls there from the Monaghan panel I'm playing against with Queensland. Um, but no matter what, there's girls from everywhere and you're just joining together. And the level over here is very, very high. I don't think people kind of realise. And I suppose a game like that will display the standard that there is. And it's, it's great to win at that high level as well. The Blues were celebrating again after the men's football final when New South Wales had just one point to spare against Victoria after a tough, tense battle. The medals were presented by the Irish ambassador and the captain, a former Fermanagh player, became an Australasian champion for the third time. Yeah, it was great, John. Like it, again, you know, it's a different year, different team and, and, and different state and you're playing different opposition now, but it's still st still the same feeling. Like, you know, it's, at the end of the day, it's a championship final. We're out here and it's as high as we can play out here, you know, so it's the same as any of the clubs back home playing in the county championship. So the, the work rate, the effort, the training is all the same and at, at the end, like, the feeling is just as good. The All-Ireland's at home tonight, but this is your All-Ireland. Well, yeah, yeah, like, you know, out here, it's, it's, it's our club, it's our state here, you know, and it's, it's, it's as good as we're going to get and as high as we're going to get out here. So we have to enjoy it and make the most of it. And as you've seen at the end, like it meant a lot to the lads because a lot of these, you know, I'd say 15 of the lads hasn't played in the state games before, you know, and it's a great feeling. Like. The hurling final saw a win for Victoria and for a captain all the way from the rebel county in Ireland. I'm a long way from Cork at the moment. But I mean, like, this, this, we're, like from our clubs, we're, this is where it's all started. This is where the GA has now come to. It's come to all over the world, and we're able to showcase what, we, what we've been taught as, as kids at underage, back in our own clubs, and my own club, Watergrass Hill. And did you really know or expect when you came out to Australia that this sort of championship would exist and the standard would be this good? Not at all, no. I, I really had no inclination of what, what the standard would be like, and I was really, really surprised. When you play competitions like the state games, you, you put yourself against the best hurlers that are actually over in Australia and over, actually play at very high level back home in Ireland and you really get tested and you have to be prepared for it. Lovely picture at the end with your young fella too. That's right, that's my young, my young son, uh, Sean Og. So it's great, it's great to have family involved in it as well because obviously we're out here on our own and we sit my wife and Maria and we've just got him to share with and, and our family and we're all one big family really in Victoria and like they're the people you kinda, you're kind of you close with and that's really your family out here. So, And that's why it means so much to finally win. Absolutely, that's, that's, that's what it's all about. It's all about community, family, you know, friends and fr we all grew up in the same kind of places. We might be in different counties, but that's what it's all about. That's what the GA is about and hurling is about.